Greetings and welcome to Splendor. I'm Catherine of Sky and I have a very special relationship with this game because I recently learned this game on my trip to Norway and it was taught to me by my very best friend Caladorn and we had such a fun time playing it that when it came up um, as a key that I could get to show to you guys I couldn't wait to to play it. So um, I have played it a little bit the electronic version and it's very similar to um, well, it's it's exactly the same, except for the physical feeling of holding the, the tokens and stuff in your hand. Um, this is a very um, easy game to learn, um, but it does have quite a lot of strategy in it. And I'm going to play um, hopefully fairly well, but being on YouTube, I may not win. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and play and I will explain how to play as I go through it. So this um, version has many, many different uh, options. As you can see, you can play with up to four players in online co-op um, and you can also play single player so I'm going to play single player um, and we're going to play against the AI here um, this is me I chose to um, be one of the strongest women in history uh, Elizabeth II and, and you can choose a coat of arms so we're going to play against our AI opponent and I don't remember um, who this is but that's okay we're fine um, in the two-player game we get three nobles uh, five gold tokens and four tokens of each color and the win condition is five, 15 prestige points. So let's go ahead and play. Right, so in Splendor you have three um, different decks of cards and these represent the um, sort of the ease of getting these things and the costs of the cards. So you'll notice that the green deck has the most cards in it and it has maybe one point. The points at the top here are the prestige points that you need to win the game. Um, other cards have no points, but they're very cheap to buy, as you can see over here. Now, the second deck has more points and they're more expensive to buy. And the same with the, the top deck. These are the cards that you kind of want to go for, because if you get three fives, for example, you win the game. Um, the way you go about uh, playing this game is each each person has one turn to do one action. So here we have the tokens that you can use to buy cards. Um, these tokens are, you can uh, match the, the tokens with the, the circle here. Um, so for example, this diamond card takes two red tokens, that's these, the red, the rubies, and one black, which is maybe a hematite or something like that. Um, Oh, or it's a black diamond, who knows? But um, they need round things to buy these. So if we were to get two red and one black, we could pay those back to the bank and we could buy this card. Um, in contrast, these noble cards, they have square symbols over here. So these actually require the actual number of cards. So like the um, this character, Elizabeth II, would require four uh, green gem cards, square cards, and four red cards. And once you collect those, you can just take um, this noble for uh, part of your point score. And then this one would require three uh, diamond cards, the white ones, three blue, and three green. So um, when you get these cards, um, you can use them to pay for other cards. So for example, if I have, if I acquired this white diamond card, then if I wanted to acquire this thing, if I have this in my inventory, then I would only need two green and two red, either chips or cards, and I would have a free white one already in my collection. And hopefully this will be um, obvious to you as we play along. So uh, the computer opponent went first, I'm sure you noticed. Um, the turns that you are available to do are you can either take tokens um, and then you have two options for tokens. If the pile has four or more, you can take two of that color and that's your turn. Um, if they have less than four, you may only take one from those piles. So um, if you ch choose to take one, you can take one of three different colors. So you can have three tokens, but they must all be different colors and you're not allowed to take the yellow um, in either of those cases. 
Um, and then the third option is to buy a card. You can buy a card, but then you do not get to take any tokens. You just buy them and, and pay it back. Or there's another option, which I forgot was an option. Uh, you can take a card from the playing field if you either want to buy it later and you don't have enough now, or um, or your opponent, you want to block your opponent from buying it. Um, in that case, you can take the card. You It does not count toward your points until you buy it. Um, and then you also take one of these gold tokens, which are are kind of joker or random tokens. You can use it at, in place of any other color. Right, so we are going to kind of look at this strategy here and this is kind of a weird board. Um, what I see though is we have two cards up here, the high level cards. These are actually worth strategizing for because um, these cards will not change very much. So um, we have seven blues. So we really would like to go for blues possibly. Uh, also one of the nobles has blue as part of their requirements. So it looks like blue um, is, is a good uh, card style to or card color to to try to to get many of there are only two blue cards on the table but this row changes very frequently so hopefully we'll, we can get enough of those so in that option I'm gonna go ahead and um, click her so that we can see what she's chosen she, so she's chosen these three tokens what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for this card next she might buy it I don't know but we'll go ahead and get a red a green and a white so we'll end our turn here. Okay, and then she's going to choose something else, those three tokens. Right, so she cannot buy this card. She's going for something else. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this. So we want red, green, and hmm, what else do we want? Maybe a blue. So might might wanna buy this one, or we could go for another red. Oh no, we can't go for it. We, we can only get one red. Let's get a black, just to have uh, some chips. Maybe we'll go for this one afterward. We'll see. Okay, she's taking more chips. She must be going for maybe a higher level card. Okay, or uh, I don't know what the heck she's going for. <laughs> Let's choose this one. All right, we're gonna buy this card and end our turn. Okay, so our chips are going to pay for this. Now I have one blue card and this is permanently mine. I own this card. Okay, so she's gotten um, a card with one point on it. So that's just fine. So now when I wanna buy any of these other cards, I have one free blue um, card. So let's see, what do we want to get next? Rubies are really not in demand. White is good though. Let's go ahead and maybe buy this one. Try to buy that one. Uh, we'll take one red. We have one black. Uh, uh, we'll just take some of these guys then because she's got all the chips, lots of chips. Okay, so she bought that one. That's fine. Uh, let's see, we have... Oh, we don't have a diamond. Wow, that's uh, inconvenient. I think I will buy... Let's just keep our minds open for this one and this one. So we'll get one diamond, one blue, and maybe another black. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so she's taking more tokens. Normally the computer players buy more cards than this, but uh, we'll see what uh, they're up to. Um, there are quite a lot of black um, things on the board, so let's go ahead and grab this black card. Okay. Now their turn. They got the red. Ooh. We... I would really like to get this green one. So we have three of these. Let's get a green, red, and white. End. So we can either shoot for this one or that one. Okay, they got the black. There's another red one. But we can buy this one because we kind of mitigated our our turns here. So we can get that. So now we're slowly building up our profile here, which is kind of nice. Okay. I think I want to go for this one. So let's get this one. White. And maybe another red. Because if we spend this red here, then we'll, we'll, we won't have it for other things. So it's always good to have some. Okay, there's another white on the board. I want to get this black one. Okay, and turn. Now we have two black. Ooh, another blue. Those blues are going to be quite valuable, I think. So would really like to get a red or one of these. 
Um, we'll need a blue. Let's get blue, white, and red. Okay. Oh, they took the blue. Naughty, naughty. All right, we can buy this red, though. Uh, and that would give us, or, or we could buy this, this blue. Now, this is quite expensive for a blue. Um, I'm wondering if I should just buy this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy this one. We might be able to buy this one later. Oh, there's another blue. Come up. I would really like to buy that blue. Oh, no, they took it. Oh, dear. Ah, but we can buy this one. Okay, take that one and turn. And that one, I think we had all the colors in cards, so we didn't even have to pay any back, which is quite nice. Okay, so now we have other options. Um, let's see, we could buy the white. White is also good. We want to, we're kind of looking at the nobles here. If we're going for three of those, white is actually good for us here. Uh, or we could get the green. Green is needed here. Um, and then for a lot of these, so let's go ahead and grab this green. I might get the white the next turn, or we could get this one, this white, because we'll have, uh, almost free there. Let's grab this one. I think it is free. Yeah, it was free. Okay, cool. Okay. Then we can grab this one. It is also free because we have two cards, two of blue and two of black. Just take it. There we go. All right, so now I have two of each of these. I'm really kind of getting closer to being able to get this noble uh, if I want her. Um, I could also go for this one if... It's not necessarily recommended to go for two different nobles, but this five also has seven black. So I might just do that. This is actually going to be a free card if I get it. Let's go ahead and grab this one first though, because I want to have those threes. All right. They only have two points, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, how we're getting things. Hmm. I could go for this noble as well with uh, those things. Hmm. <laughs> so many choices. Uh, let's go ahead and get a red, just so we have two red tokens. Um, that might have been a mistake there. I don't know, but we'll have to see. I think we need, we actually need some, well, let's get this. Okay, so we have three black. All right, now what do we need? We need one blue and one white to get this noble. So I'm thinking we have the green already. So we really want to go for blue if we possibly can. Um, I think we might even buy this one or we could go for this thing. If we take this one, then we can buy this one next turn. So let's just do that. We'll also get two points for that one. Okay. Oh, wow. This one is also cheap. Let's buy the cheap card just because we need a lot of blue. Uh, if we, right, we can buy this diamond card and immediately get the noble. So I'm going to do that. We're going to grab the noble. I don't think I have to click it. Nope. It automatically comes to us. Excellent. All right. Great. So the question is, do we want to get another diamond? Uh, which we can do here. Um, if we get this green card, then we can get this noble, which will... No, no, this noble. No, which one? No, oh my god, my brain is not working. Yes, if we get the green card, we can buy this next turn. So we'll get this one. And I might be focusing too much on the nobles, we will see. But uh, hopefully we can grab it. Oh no, we got this, we got the diamond. Um, we can get this one and turn. All right, we got this noble now. Okay, great. Now I want to get this blue here, this blue card. Oh boy, okay. Take this one, great. And now we have issues. We have no blue cards. I need to get three of these guys. Um, I can do this two different ways though. I can reserve this card which will give me one uh, of these uh, wild cards. 
Um, but I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take two tokens of these and then we'll have six and then we might take this one and then buy it next turn. Or if we don't, we don't, we, no, no, they can't buy that card, though they might take it. Um, I think what I want to do is just take tokens, take some more tokens so that we can buy other things. Maybe we'll get um, red, no, black, red, and blue. Okay, there we go. So we can grab this card and I can win the game in the next turn. Oh, if I buy the card, there it's going to come, hopefully. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, scary. Okay, but I still get my turn because remember they went first. Yes, 15. We won. Yay. Awesome. All right, we won. That was good. Excellent. Yay, I got points. All right, I set a new record. All right, first first victory against an AI with two players. Yes, <laughs> you can tell how my previous one's games went. <laughs> this is great though. This is fantastic. All right, I'm excited about this. Um, there are different uh, difficulties in this game, I believe. So let's go ahead and look at the, the options so you can see what's here. Um, here it is. So we have, um, you can have the AI plays twice as fast, three times as fast, normal speed. I have it at twice as fast. Um, and then, yes, all these other things. Can you change? I think you can change the difficulty though. Okay, oh there, here are the uh, different uh, achievements you can get and there are also you can also buy the uh, various expansions to the game as well but let's see we can um, let's try again play another game where is uh, can you change balance specialized opportunistic random behavior secret behavior well then let's try a different one let's try um, random and we'll see what happens with us so let's go ahead and just say play and we'll have another game I have to say, I would be really excited to play this in multiplayer because I absolutely love this game. As you can tell, it's pretty simple, but there are many different uh, ways that you can win the game uh, just by either choosing nobles or going for these higher cards or maybe going for the lower cards. And it's so much fun. I really love this game, like playing it physically. It's pretty darn cool. So, OK, I think what I want to do is let's see. Let's look at our top level stuff here. Um, yeah, blue again is needed. Black is also needed. Black is really good because of the nobles here. So I think I'm going to try to go for black. Um, I'm going to go maybe try to get this black card first. So we'll go with this. Did they go already? No, it's my turn first. So, and we'll get red as well. So that's right. Okay, good. There they are. All right. And again, I'm going to go for this one, this one, this one, and red, just so we can buy that card if it doesn't work out. And it's kind of neat the way the game tells you, okay, you can buy this one or this one, and it automatically tallies your points as well. All right, we're going to go for this black card. Oh, wow, another black card. Hello. Welcome. So we need green and red. Okay, they didn't mitigate their stuff, so now they don't have any red. Okay, so I need red, green, and let's get a blue. Okay, they wanted the diamond. That's nice. Okay. Let's take this one. Enter. All right. I need, wow, three green. That is going to be interesting to get. They might actually be buying that card. So what I want to do is I'll take green, red, and white. Okay. Oh, they took the last green. Okay, so they're probably going to buy this card. Um, ooh, I don't even know what to do. I think I might even take this card, right? They have three there. I'm going to take it. Yep, enter. And now I have a, uh, a wild card token. Okay, there we go. We need three greens to buy that card. Um, I might just take this card because uh, it's free for me, so might as well. I think it's free. I didn't see any tokens move. <laughs> oh dear. Might have paid one or something. Okay. But um, 
The thing is right now, there are not enough green tokens to actually buy this card. So I need to kind of either work on something else or, or figure it out. So let's go ahead and get, uh, maybe get some reds. Um, let's go red and white and green and turn. So that hopefully we can try to buy something else if we will need it. Um, I can buy this. Oh yes, because I have the wild card token. That's right. Um, I'm wondering if I should get this because I can, or we can save that wild card token for later. That is another option. Let's see, we have two, one, one, one. I could get the blue. Blue is going to be really useful later as well. So let's go ahead and grab this. Buy this. Those wild cards are quite uh, quite valuable, so you don't really want to use them uh, a lot. Okay. I would really like to get this thing, um, one of the rubies, and see if we can also get some more greens. Let's, let's get green, red, and white. Okay, enter. So, um, I think I'll take uh, white, red, and black, so we can have the options of either of those two. This is turning out to be kind of a funky game. Um, right. We can get this red, uh, or we can get... I would really like to get a, a diamond as well, a white one, but we don't have a lot of options for that at the moment. Um, I guess we'll just grab, this one costs five and that one costs those, but we're using more of our blacks in this one. So let's just grab this. Okay. All right. We still need blues. So we might think about going for something like this. Um, Let's see, two red, two black, and one blue. This is almost free for us. So let's just take this one. Oh, a precious diamond. Look at that. They have the rest of the green chips. So we can't really do much about this unless we get a couple of blues. Though we could buy it with our, our token of joy. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it though, but it's kind of hard now because they're actually taking a lot of the tokens that we can use to buy these other cards with. So this is kind of annoying, I have to say. Very, very annoying. Um, let's see. I think I'll take, just I'll just take these guys, one of each, and see what we can do with that in a bit. Okay. Let's see. All right, so now we have other options. We have huh, five now of this. This might be worth getting. Um, three, three, and six. Oh, wow. Um, I kind of am thinking about this card very seriously, though having the white would be really good. Uh, especially considering the state of the chips. Um, there is another rule in the game which I forgot to mention, and that is that uh, you can only have a maximum of 10 tokens in your hand. Ooh, I want this so bad, but they're going to buy it, I think. Oh dear. Um, right. Okay, let's go get a white and... You know what we could do, though? I can reserve this card. I think I'm going to reserve it. Yep. And turn. So now we have many cards. You can also also only have three cards on reserve. That's also important to note. Um, I think I'm gonna buy this one. Yes, let's buy this so that we can afford these more easily. This one would also be free if I wanted a red. Okay, uh, two and two. This one is also free for me. Um, but I have it under reserve. Hmm. Let's see. 
I'm looking at these guys. I am really not on track to get any of these nobles. Though red would be good to have. Yeah, let's get the red. Just because it's on the board, it's easy for us. Might as well. Oh, this would be another free card for us. It would be nice to have that green. Yep, let's take this one. That's free for us. Ooh, and this black. Where I remember, our our main goal was black. So I'm thinking I'll, I will buy this one. Uh, is this one free? This one is free. They cannot buy this one yet. So I think I will take this one. There we go. Okay, very nice. Okay, they can buy the black, so I'm going to buy it right now. I don't know if they're shooting for black, but uh, it is something that I definitely want. Now, we can actually get this noble if we get one more green card. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to get... Can they buy this card? Yes, they can buy this one. So I'm going to take this one. Enter. Oh, I bought the wrong color. Oh, dear. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to buy this black one. Yes, end turn. And I might even buy one more black one. Oh, they bought that one. Okay, that's fine. This one has two points, though. Um, this one will be free for us. So what color did we need? We needed a red. There are no red cards at all on the board. Um, I'm going to buy this. It's free for me, amazingly. Now I can buy this one as well. This is going to be a highly valuable card to have because it's four points. Oh no, they took it. Ah, yep, that's right. They wanted to prevent me from buying it. Uh, so they took that one and that is kind of unfortunate for us because that was one that I should have reserved, um, but I didn't, so that's not good. Anyway, um, let's see what else we can do. We can also stock up on blue, so we might do that. Let's just take this one, okay. Wow, now I feel like my whole strategy's gone out the window. <laughs> I should have reserved that card early on because this is this is not great. This is really not great at all. Um, we can go for blues. Maybe we should go for blue. Um, we can take this one. It's going to be free for us. Uh, that red one would be very tasty to get. Let's purchase the blue. Now this black one, we don't have to do anything with. We can just even discard it. It's not really even necessary to have. I think I want a, I definitely want another blue, but let's see what we got here. We can take this white if we want. We need a red. Oh, the reds are so expensive though. I think I'm gonna take this one and turn, and then we're gonna buy it next turn because we now have the tokens for that. I think we do. Do we have enough? No, we don't have enough. Shoot. Um, I forgot that I didn't have enough whites. But if we take this one... Yes, we will have enough white then. Okay. Oh dear. We are in trouble, I think. Okay. Take this one, purchase this one, and then we'll have three reds. And I, oh no, they took the noble. Oh dear, I'm not focusing well right now. It's like, no, oh no, I got it. I got it, yay. Okay, yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting so like, uh, kind of worried. It's like panic time. Oh my, what are we doing? Um, let's see, do I have enough to buy this one? Three, three, yes, three, yes, and five. If I take this one, Oh, but it's only three points. That's a problem. Hmm. That is not ideal. What about nobles? We have... We could almost buy this one if we got another ruby. I need... I need tokens, I guess. Or a white card. Um, let's take these guys so that we could buy the ruby next and maybe that card afterward. Um... Definitely don't need that. We chose those two. What else do we need? Maybe, I don't know. Blue, not, well, maybe not blue. Yeah, blue is fine because there's several of those. Okay, there we are. 
Okay, and we have options now. Um, we can get this noble, which is three, and then maybe buy this one next time. Yeah, this that's that's the best strategy I've got here. All right, we, <laughs> we're one point short. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. I wonder if they're gonna win though. No, nope, but we get another turn. We can get another turn. Right, we have one turn. No, we don't. Did I go first? I think I went first. Never mind. Okay, so I went first. Um, but if they had gone first, I would get to complete my turn. And um, But anyway, it was fun. It was cool. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, um, this game as much as I have. It's so much fun to play, and I really enjoy it. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.